Alright, so I was playing this game before, but I decided to restart because there's a patch that fixes the difficulty slider. Back then it was stuck to normal mode on all three settings, but now it should work properly. I actually tested with some enemies before. New game. Wahas, very soon the kingdom of Feywith will be mine. Kazuki, very soon I'll send my, all my armies along with overpowered generals so nothing will get in my way. Feeling confident, my lord? Quite so. I may as well say I have all the cards in my hands. If there were cards, that is. It seems like Feywith doesn't even stand a chance against you, my lord. Of course, I'm at the top of the world right now. Not even the strongest can go up, uh, can stand up to Dark Lord Kazuki. What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Lord Kazuki! What is it? The humans of Feywith. They found our hideout and attacked our forces by surprise. What? Who in the right mind would do that? We're getting that. Uh, what, that was what I was planning to do to the enemy, of course. Who's the one leading these humans? He must be a great warrior to do damage to us, even in a surprise attack. Actually, he's a young boy who grew up in a forest village. He has virtually no combat experience at all. Aha, uh -huh, nice joke. Seriously, who was it? It looks like I finally caught up to you, Dark Lord Kazuki. Earth magic. I'm the hero chosen by the goddess herself, Camlin. Prepare to meet your end. Are we going to get uh, open up with a boss battle right off the bat? Oh, it wasn't a joke after all. Shouldn't I have a say in this? It's not like I actually attacked you yet. Just give me a minute to call my lawyer. Your bluffs won't get past me. Ow. Whoa, he's pretty strong. What do you suppose we do, my lord? Fight back? Get, take him on two on one. We have to escape. Get us out of here. Never mind. I wouldn't count on it. The Queen's troops already have this fortress surrounded. Teleport. Ah, oh, my eyes. How did we lose that without even putting up a fight? Seriously. This isn't over yet, Kazuki. Yeah, that part of the opening cutscene was always weird. I thought it'd be e better to at least show up how strong the hero was in a hopeless boss battle where he seemed to be doing alright first before he pulls off his limit break. That was way too close for comfort. It appears we have escaped by the skin of our teeth, my lord. Don't remind me, where are we anyways? Right now we are in a rundown village within a fairly secluded island. I think we are safe for now. Oh, it also means there is no way to save my troops now. I failed them. If I may ask, what are you going to do now, my lord? Start over again, I guess. It's going to be pretty tedious to make another army of monsters. Oh ho, how nice to be young and ambitious like that again. Excuse me? How dare a commoner like you interrupt my lord? Don't worry about it, Minori. What do you want to say, my lord, old man? Oh, I just overheard you talking about all this hard work you need to do to achieve your goals. If you would like to know, I do know some kind of shortcut for that. A shortcut? My lord, you're not desperate enough to take advice from him, are you? What's this shortcut? I'm guessing the Aesop of this uh, game is going to be that there's no shortcuts. Come to my house and I'll tell you more. I'm the, I'm the village elder, so naturally my house is the biggest in town. My lord, are you, are you really going to visit that old man? It does, sounds like he just wants attention. Right, now we are at the bottom of the barrel, so we don't have much to lose. If you insist. Level 1. Yes, everyone starts at level 1 despite him being a dark lord. How... How is it he expected to beat even a villager like this? Actually, he's weaker than a villager. An average villager at this point, right? And he's and he had 82. He's 82 years old and still didn't grind past level one. Seriously, how does he do that? Oh yeah, I need to go into settings. Hmm. Dash difficulty. I can change it at, in, in the main menu outside of battle. One is hard. I think they said the uh, the uh, stat multiplier for hard mode is 1.2. That could be quite a lot in the beginning of the game when you have no equipment. Welcome to the pub. Some adventurers who come here may give you tips on the local monsters. The pesky bats within the caves are already pretty e easy to fight, but they will drop dead instantly if exposed to light. Looks like the, that holy Ingen training paid off. Wouldn't it be easier to just use a lantern or a flashlight? 
Surely, my lord, you don't think an object like a lantern and flashlight would be more useful than I? Them orcs like to guard all the time. If only there was a way to break past it. One strong swing of my scythe can cut any orc into two. Maybe, it's, maybe. It seems that old scythe of yours can deal quite a bit, even if something has a shield up. I gotta remember not to press one to get to the menu, like in Nelfragar. Seriously, why? Why did? Why is that even a thing? Ingen is our skills in this game. Two TP looks cheap, but it actually takes at least until your second turn to use. Super Slash. I think you ha can only accumulate, like, 5 TP in battle. Maximum of, of 5. Yeah. Ignores defense and deals more when enemy guards. Problem is, it's also hard to predict when the enemy will guard. I don't even have money. I will have no choice but to beat the first enemy with nothing but whatever I ha have by default. The village is far away from the capital, so our politics do not affect us that much. It's been years since I've ever seen a knight here. Come buy equipment imported from the capital. Importing is expensive, but unfor so it's unfortunately only the cheap stuff. Twins. Hi, I'm the MP man. MP is expensive to recover with ethers and stuff against like that, so use MP wisely. I am the TP man. TP is odd. You always start with only one, but you gain more each turn. You can ex also get extra TP by guarding or normal attacking. These sh the shops seem pretty empty, huh? I think there would be more sword and armor racks here, and also passability issue here. Whoops. Cool scythe. Actual armor. Yeah, even this is. It'll cost like 600 just to fully outfit my characters right for this shop. That's gonna take a while. You're gonna have to grind just to get even get past the first dungeon on hard mode, probably. The inn. 10 G. Fortunately, most mobs drop more than that. Rin's coin. I, f uh, yeah, these can be p uh, these. I'm not sure what they're for. Maybe you have to uh, use them for some kind of collectible side quest thing, or maybe you'll unlock a bonus boss. However, I. Uh, the last time I played it, I I was unable to return to this area after beating the first boss. So make sure to grab everything, especially the rent coins, because those are, might be useful. Someday I'll figure out what they're for. Hello, do you have an appointment? Or yes, what do you mean by a shortcut earlier? Ah uh, yes, let me tell you a secret that a couple of explorers reported to me. These explorers found a small room in the back of the Cave of Ideals with a strange stone tablet in it. On it was written, The one who seeks the power to rule all shall be the only one to carry on my t uh, task. In return, you shall be granted a wish. Interesting, I wonder who this tablet is referring to. I think this old man is manipulating us. My lord, surely you don't believe such a fool's tale. I bet this old man uh, 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 was be, uh, uh, instructed the hero to attack us to make us desperate enough to listen to him. I have, a, because I have mixed feelings about this, honestly. However, I think looking into this would be worth my time. Carry out some stupid tasks and get around a wish? Sounds like my type of game. Wish I wish for? To rule a kingdom? Endless riches? Maybe an infinite amount of wishes? This is... Uh... You do have a point that we have very little to lose, my lord. But I propose we go to this cave ourselves and check the credibility of the story. Even if such a tale was, were true, it doesn't mean you are the, the one the tablet is looking for. Uh... Damn it, stop ruining my dreams. Alright, old man. Thank you for your help. Now where is this cave? Just north of here, you can't miss it. Hmm. North. I w we'll see what the first enemy is like on hard mode. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna start over. Play it fair and square, huh? 
Well, I still might drop it to easy just for grinding purposes. So I don't have to return to town quite as often. But yeah, I'm sure even the first enemy will be quite difficult. Orc emerged. I may want to actually use blind. Light flash is, n is neutral to orcs, but good against bats. But I'll still want to use it because it's hard mode. Oh. You know, maybe I should let the enemy hit me just so I can demonstrate the difference between hard and normal mode. Yeah, let's let's do that. It's gonna be t since there's only two people right now, it should be easier to test this. Well, then again, due to the damage variance, it still might be difficult to test. Oh yeah, you like the guard too, don't you? Let's have a staring contest. Come on, hit me. Seriously? Whatever, I'm just gonna super slash ya. Oh, he's gonna attack this time. 87 from, a, from guarding, huh? Let's try easy mode, see how hard they hit this time. <laughs> 57, and he's supposed to be not too different from her defensively, so that does prove there is a difference between easy and hard at least. Yeah, let's let's see their stats. Yeah, their defense is almost the same. So yeah, the, uh, hard mode should uh, should actually be hard now. Now I can properly do my bosses. Yeah, for, for bosses I'll just go for hard mode. But for normal enemies, I guess I'll go easy mode to say uh, just to be cheap, because everything is pretty expensive at the beginning of the game. I only have 105 gold right now. That's not even enough to upgrade my equipment. Ether was found. Okay. Enemies do not move very quickly. In fact, they se almost seem to have set paths. They're not even chasing me. Yet. It's possible they will chase me later on in the game. Awesome sauce. A revival item. All potion. Anything else worth grabbing here? What's this? There appears to be a small opening. Explore. Creates a shortcut back. Hmm, anything else down here? Statue. That's a goddess statue. What about it? I do I need to say anything more? I would appreciate that, my lord, given that I do not see the significance of fighting a statue in a dungeon. I've heard of these statues before, but I do not know of their functions. Oh well. They allow you to save in dungeons when you pray to them. Some of them even heal you. Some? Not all? That's all there is to it? You probably would go into long boring details of Feywith religious culture? Forget it, I'm an atheist. But these statues do work, right? That has to prove some kind of spiritual connection. Any more than resting in an inn or saving outside of a dungeon? Point taken. Just use them and think nothing of it. So I w for hard mode, I do want to grind a bit. Hmm. For now, I guess I'll just look for some items here and there. Ether. And evade everyone, because they have very set paths. Even that orc there. Oh man, but this one's pretty narrow. Can I take you on it on easy mode at least? Oh yeah, I can't save inside dungeons, except at statues. Is 
There is a boss, but not gonna do deal with that yet. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Man, I hope I'm strong enough for this one. Level 3 was good enough for normal mode, but is it good enough for hard? Or Ogre emerged. Okay, I'm going to use Dark Void and hope I can blind it. Otherwise, it's going to hit me very hard. Ow. Text twice per turn. I did not manage to proc. What a shame. Two s about the kills about 300 ish. Okay, it doesn't seem to be too hard on hard mode yet, but this is only the first boss. They're probably giving us a freebie before they really start throwing. We uh, uh, really start beating us up. The next boss does have an AOE attack, so that could be really bad in hard mode. I am not proccing blind at all. Really wish Minori had her TP spell already. Well, she will get one, but I think maybe next level. Kazuki was victorious. All monsters on this floor fled. Yep, this is your last chance to really grind in this world, or, well, do anything in this world, really. I already got all the treasures and the Rin coin. Something opened to the north end of the cave. Actually, the first floor enemies are still here. So you could theoretically grind before heading to the next area. All we get is a... tablet. Well, here's that tablet thingy. Guess the whole triple isn't a complete waste. There's something written here. The one that seeks the power to rule all shall be the only one to carry my task. In return, you shall be granted a wish. That's spot on. Did the old man have photographic memory or something? He probably wrote it himself. But so far, nothing has happened. Maybe it doesn't grant wishes after all. Don't be so foolish, young lady. Of course I can grant wishes. I bet it's the old man speaking through a voice changer. Who's there? He's gonna be the final boss, that old man. My lord, there appears to be no one else in this room. I cannot be seen by the eyes of any race, monster, or spirit. Though my true identity cannot be revealed as of now, you can call me Star. Star, like... The, the sword from Star Sword Chronicle? Okay then, so, Star. Am I the one that seeks the power to rule all? That is correct. It seems fate has sent you here. That tablet, uh, the tablet said about something about a task that I have to do. If I do that, I get a wish. Is that right? That is also correct. Even if that wish is to have control over all of Paywith? Of course. My lord, may I advise that we make sure such a task is worth completing in the first place? You have a point. What is the task? I want you to prove you are the strongest amongst all the Dark Lords. I don't know, he seems like the weakest. He was level 1. The strongest Dark Lord? Where can I find the other Dark Lords? Beowulf isn't the only world out there. Throughout the seven worlds, there are men who seek power just like you. If you can prove that you are the strongest of them all, then I can grant you anything you want. That's it? That's a task? Waha, you had me worried there for a moment. You seem rather confident. Very well then. I will make it your mission to carry out my task. Don't fail me, Kazuki. Chapter 1, it all started with ambition. Uh, Minori, are, are you there? Yes, my lord. We got dumped into another world so suddenly. It sure is hot. My lord, do you have any idea where we are? Um, the desert? Are there any deserts in Feywith? I see, it appears we have left Feywith to altogether. Do you think this is one the world star was talking about? It's not impossible, but really, my lord, do you be even believe that there are multiple worlds out there? It's something you can't believe even when you see it. Well, wherever we are, it's pointless to just stand still. We must find some kind of civilization. Desert North. Save in a separate slot, of course. Yeah, they don't start you off in a town. They start you off in the middle of nowhere. Cough, cough. My lord, are you, are you alright? The wind, the sun, it's all too much. Surely this is nothing to you, my lord. 
Help. Dead. My lord. Huh, music? It's dangerous to go out in the desert. You might pass out with all the sun in the sand. So I was right. Minori, you're an idiot. My lord, you are alive. This man found us and carried you into this cave. Yes, if it wasn't for me, you would surely be dead by now. Thank god I found you when I did. It's not fun being dead after all. Or thanks, who are you anyways? Who? Me? I'm an amazing wandering born narcissist of awesomeness. You can call me Sufus. A narcissist who admits he's a narcissist. Okay then, Sufus, where are we? I'm afraid we're not from this desert. Ah, that's funny. Not from this desert. I'm afraid there isn't anything outside of this desert except even more desert. Do you hit your head or something? You're not kidding, are you? Yeah, yes, you see. You really did hit your head. No, we are perfectly fine. We're from a place called Feywith. Feywith, is this that, that's something you eat? I never heard of such a thing in Cinnaba. I guess it's a hard thing to explain after all. But wherever you are from, it's probably best if I take you back to town. What if we're not actually going to different worlds with just different continents? That would be helpful. Just take note, don't stray outside the caves for too long. Seems that the blue-haired one can't even be outside for 40 seconds. Hey, that's about average, right? What is the average anyways? I'm pretty sure Inebrate could last longer back in the Tales of the Drunken Paladin game. My lord, since we have a companion traveling with us, I highly suggest we check his stats using the menu. I agree. Huh. Guess he j I guess I j beat the boss at the correct level, by st but still, with the I have 100 experience on him. What is this? Yes, even on the menu screen, I look fabulous. I'm talking about your class name, Amazing Wandering Bard Narcissist. Wait, it cuts itself off near the end. I told you, that's what I am. Change it. What? Change it now. Okay, okay, fine. Narcissist Bard, that's better. Loot and sand armor. He actually has better stats than me right now because he has more updated gear, huh? Even his normal attack is almost as high as mine. Yes, yeah, he has a decent amount of speed too. He has wind spells. This this one costs TP, an evasion type. Here's many status ailments. I'm going to be relying on him because some of the enemies here can poison and silence. Of course, you don't want to you want to avoid enemies while you're out in the desert because of the time limit. Let me, wait, let me double check. There's nothing out front here. I can handle 40 seconds, and even if you run out of time, you will get bumped. You won't get game over. You'll still get just get bumped off to the nearest uh, place where you left. The time limit does not activate out here for so on the world map for some reason. But it restarts the moment you enter this des uh, this uh, uh, this dungeon outside dungeon map. Drink water or not. Avoid scorpions because I do not want to deal with status. Of, I do not want to deal with their time limit right now. There is another place nearby where I can. Yes, that is a shop. Go here first. There's even a save point so, in case I need to grind. But if you're gonna grind, do it on easy mode because of time limit. It's dangerous to go alone. Buy stuff. Oh, another tip for the desert area. Hide battle animations. This will save you time. Precious time that you need in case you do run into an enemy outside. The Scorp- the Scran. A s generic Scorpion. Wow, that's a lot even for easy mode. Wait, no, I'm still in hard mode, aren't I? Shoot. This could be bad unless I finish you off right now. Oh, she has weapon blessing now. I guess leveling- I guess skill learning is tied to your uh, uh, story progress rather than your levels. Okay, let's try not to miss anything. Whoa, I almost ran into it. I should be safe. Are you moving or not? Seriously, did it just run into the wall? 
Weird. Always go over here. Ah, get out of my way, Scorpion. I don't didn't see any other chests in that area. Okay, this is a safe place, relatively speaking. Unfortunately, there's this one Scorpion on the bridge that does not move. Seriously. You have no choice but to fight it. Weapon Blessing. Defend. Probably not necessary to defend on hard mode, huh? Whoa! A crit! Oh no. Silenced. Well, I have Wide Slash, which now hits all enemies. Defend. Attack. Yes. For some reason, it's the physical attacker who gets their AoE first. Alright, and all the way here we get another save point. Alright, this next map is a bit tricky. There are scorpions blo uh, blocking a very narrow paths and you have to kill them all. However, even if you get knocked out, yeah, you won't die. And also, these scorpions will not respawn. So, I can just head back in here and it should not appear ever again. Assuming the developer did not try to patch it to make them respawn. It would be very evil if they did. Well, I should have enough time on easy mode to finish them quickly anyways, especially with my animations turned off. Fortunately, it's only one scorpion at a time. So that we can finally access the town, which has no name. The oasis has nothing in it yet. Not even a Rin coin. The pyramid we should avoid for now. Welcome to my lovely little hometown. It's a little cramped. How can people live here? I agree, my lord. You can't even fit two people through the entrance at the same time. Ah, well, about that. The walls that surround this town are meant to keep people out. If you don't know how to fight, you stay inside. No one ever borrowed to expand the town after it was built. Anyways, I want to know more about you two. Maybe we can have a small chat at the pub. So they do have pubs in this world. I like this town already. Nothing like a shot of wine after a long journey. Okay then, drinks are on me. The weapon shop. Does this, I don't think it sells anything different other than Glass Scythe Enchanted, which is a more magic-based version of the current Glass Scythe. But I'd prefer to have Kazuki focus on physical attacks. Since that's kind of a specialty anyways. The other two are good enough for magic. Yeah, nothing new. At least, this shop at least has a little bit more decorating it, maybe. At least on the walls. At least compared to the previous weapon shop. The M shop also looks pretty well decorated. And also, I will have to do some farming to buy enough uh, consumables for the next dungeon. Fortunately, the that one that the previous the previous save point in the desert cave is actually pretty good for farming uh, free uh, those triple team enemies. They say decades ago this perfectly small town used to be a kingdom. I don't know how it has fallen so far though. We can barely survive like this. The inn. But we don't need to use that if we go to the heal at the save point. Yeah, just gonna save money that way. Order up, all drinks are on me. What can I get you guys? Some light wine, please. A nice cold beer. Coming right up. Now I'll get straight to the point. I'm not going to pry so much to ask about the world you come from, but what brings you here? Yes, about that. I've been planning to ask you sooner. Are there any kinds of villains here? Someone you might call a Dark Lord. Hmm, can't say for sure. Lately things have been pretty peaceful. Besides the monsters, that is. Yeah, I don't see why anyone would want to conquer a small cramped world like this. Did you say something? I said nothing. In our past, however, there had been known to be spirits that would cause trouble. Can't say any of them were greedy enough to conquer the world. If anyone would know, however, it would be the town shaman. And what would that be? She has the ability to see the past. It's hard to go into details. We can go ask her. She accepts almost anyone... Uh, who asks her questions, but her appearance may give you a bad vibe. Why, does she have some edgy getup? 
No, she's actually pretty lighthearted. Is she unattractive? Depends on your taste for a woman, but that's not what I'm talking about. Come think of it, it would be more fun to just show you. I hate surprises. Her building is the largest in town. Well, it takes over a fourth of it, so I don't think I need to give you of the town, so I don't need to give you directions. All right, after our drinks, let's head there. Sorry for the wait. Here are your drinks. Poison. I hate poison. You take damage every single turn. Whoa, dude, you ever think about curing the poison right after getting it? I can't. There's no items in the store that, can, that do such a thing, and I don't have any magic to cure myself. That m must look to be you, because I got the ability to cure people. Show off. But I don't have any way t to heal silence if it, you get afflicted with it. So we're kind of screwed. Be careful of spirits. They will try to suck your life away. Thankfully, they can't do it twice in a row. My lord, so just bring healing items on our next trip. There are so many things out to kill us that my healing won't be enough. Even on easy mode, I might need to use items to sustain myself, huh? And Neke, are you home? Sufis, are you back already? Yeah, I ran to some interesting people who would like to ask you a question. Is that so? Well, if they're friends of yours, I guess I don't see it being a problem. A third eye. Hello there, I'm a Neke. What an interesting figure you are. So getting on the business, what do you want to ask me? And it turns into a Rene Sharingan. Why does she have three eyes? It's so creepy. That was the reaction I was looking for. I see you never told them about my physical appearance. I can't stop staring at it. Uh, Kazuki, you're starting to worry me. Uh, just let us sink in for a moment. Okay, here's what I want to ask you. What do you know about the concept of Dark Lords? It appears you got my hopes up for nothing. I don't even need to use my third eye to look back into the past for that. You don't? Of course not. Haven't you seen the pyramid outside the town walls? Ooh, that's right. I feel like an idiot now. I'll play it safe and not comment on that. Pyramid, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, you don't know? It's common knowledge. About that, Anake, these two claim to hail from outside of the desert. Yes, we believe we come from another world altogether. You don't say. What's she doing? It's her third eye. She can use it to see the past, remember? She's seeing if you are telling the truth or not. They are telling the truth. They hail from a world called Feywef. I understand now. Coming from a different world, your culture and lore are completely different from ours. The pyramid is where an evil spirit, Sakani, is sealed away. Hundreds of years ago, Sakani used to be a king who ruled with fear. After the citizens revolted and killed him, they built a temple around his grave to make sure his spirit won't cause terror again. So, so Sakani is the Dark Lord. Come think of it, why do you want to know all of this? What is your relation to the spirit? I'm going to eliminate it. What? I see, there was something foggy and unclear when looking into your past. This must be related to it. Throughout six other worlds is a Dark Lord in each. It is my mission to make sure they are all ex defeated. Well, that's very heroic of you. Hero-like? Now this is for personal gain. That's even cooler. That's being said, Kazuki. I can see through your past that you are a strong person, but I need to make sure you're not all talk. Strong? Are you sure? He's only, like, level 5. Build the key to the pyramid. I want you to prove your power before I can just give it to you. In a nearby oasis, there exists a powerful monster known as the Takian Bull. I want you to defeat it. Heh. <laughs> That's it? Just some oversized bull? Do that and I'll gladly lend you the key. Sounds like fun. Can I come along too? I don't see why not. It may make the fight easier, but I doubt by much. What's that supposed to mean? Alright guys, so you oasis. She has three eyes. I don't think the shaman is human, but she refuses to talk about her heritage. Were, they, were there really more people like her walking around back in the day? That's a strange thought. Are there any Rin coins around here? Seriously, I'm paranoid about these coins. They're so hard to find. It's always a sparkle on the ground, but sparkles might camouflage themselves if the ground is too light. If there's if it's in the sand or snow, for example. Double check your house. Yes, I knew it. You had a ring coin right there. Okay, I need to remember to be have my battle animations on and have my difficulty set to one.
When is this Takian Bowl coming? Patience, Kazuki, that's what it takes to hunt such strong creatures. Though standing in one spot in the sun for too long is giving me a headache. Hey, Subis, does the Takian Bowl look anything like, you know, a bowl? Yeah, why? Because there is a 20 foot bowl running in our direction right now. Holy sh. Takian Bowl emerged. Dark Void, if I can help it. If, if it it'd be nice if it procced. But I'm not that lucky. You might as well just guard so you can use your uh, evasion buff on us. No, he didn't get blinded. He spammed Quake instead. Brutal damage. That's a good thing I brought some items. Missed. Six hundred. Oh, no, again. Out. Eh. Not good. Dark void. Heal self. You might want to actually use an item. Good thing I bought a few potions. Did not get blinded. Ow. Super slash. Weapon blessing. Use potion Kazuki. Yes, double stack that damage. Ow. Minori is almost dead. Not good. Heal. Missed on Minori. Oh no. Mm, ow. Almost dead. I may just lose this one. Super slash. I literally don't have an, any way to out heal this damage. All potion is kind of expensive. Let's see if I can finish you off with this next blow. Yes, that was so close. Gotta buy some potions now. The quake is way too strong. I heard a boss might have gotten nerfed because people were complaining about its quake spam before, but even then, it, I barely survived it on hard mode. On one attempt I did, uh, uh, where I forgot to turn on battle animations, the boss did not use quake and just spam normal attacks after I blinded it. So uh, that ended up a lot easier, but here, I actually had to use defensive and healing tactics. Hey guys, I'm alive, right? I did not see that one coming. I did. That's not what I meant. Alright, alright, let's just go back to town and get that key. Yep, go back to easy mode. Save... That was fast, how'd it go? I don't want to step anywhere near that oasis again, ever. That's why I fought. Anyway, a promise is a promise. You got sand key. Don't worry about letting the spirit escape. They are already bound there to their graves. And why build a temple to begin with? I guess you can call it a symbol, but I really don't know what my ancestors were thinking to begin with. Good luck, ghost hunting. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Flip Dimensions. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.